hi guys so welcome back to my channel it's the weekend i'm about to make breakfast it's 11 36 did my makeup did my hair feeling really fresh i did my tan as well i used dripping gold and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i did my makeup for the first time in ages and I feel a little bit nicer than usual. So I'm like, might start the camera, might get the ball rolling. I have my morning coffee and stuff, so I am buzzing. But yeah, there will be a few recipes in this vlog. So it's not really a what I eat in a day video, but just cooking, some cooking. You know, you've all been asking for it. So I'm delivering. I am absolutely starving anyway before anyone asks also because i get a lot of questions about this on my uh instagram this fleece is from asos it was honestly the longest thing i got an extra extra large i think and it was down to my knees so i wanted to wear it as a dress but it was just way too weird so i cut it and now it's just my favorite thing i've ever had i got paint on it it's battered it won't wash off but oh, I just love cozy clothes. I did a massive order result the other day online. So I think I'm going to do a little haul for you. Let's get started with the cooking because I will show you what I'm having for breakfast. I have the same breakfast every single day. So I have eggs, these Hodgins low fat sausages. They're my favorite. Literally two sausages are 100 calories. Amazing. Light Philadelphia, this is the lightest actually and two slices of toast and i also have a whole pepper that i'm going to eat on the side because i need my veggie and i do love raw peppers i think i'm the only person in the world who hates cooked peppers i just love raw like i could eat this like an apple and i really hope it's because i have built up this loving of peanut butter thing and i love you should be very ashamed my breakfast i'm so sorry if you're all puking right now because the ketchup but i have one full egg one egg white two slices of toast philadelphia two sausages a whole bowl of peppers i'll probably eat this throughout the day but yeah it looks delicious i'm starving so let's get that into so my day we are making tacos i'm so excited i've actually never made tacos before but let's hope it works out so i have some five percent lean mince garlic chili i picked up some hot salsa some sour cream i have low fat um white cheese taco shells i have an avocado pepper a lime a red onion I have my typical spices. I have a tin of sweet corn and some chopped tomatoes. So I am just going to be totally winging this, but let's hope it works out because I am so hungry. So yeah, let's get going. So obviously here is me making my little tacos. I always use fry light for frying and yeah, I'm starting off with chopping a red onion. This is absolutely not how you're supposed to chop an onion and you can see me struggling which is a little bit embarrassing i'm not really sure you're not supposed to cut off the root but absolutely i did that so whatever anyway here is me just cutting my onion and i actually love red onions so much more than like regular onions they're just much nicer so you can obviously add any onion to this recipe but i love a good red onion so here is me continuously chopping really poorly but whatever then i add some garlic onto the pan obviously make sure the pan is hot so the garlic can sizzle away and then i add some red onion to the pot the pot the pan and there's me stirring the pan stirring the pot <laughs> stirring the pot as usual and here is me putting the mince it's a bit disgusting putting it with your hands but whatever i kind of crumble it up I definitely don't recommend you do that. There's probably like some health and safety involved in there. But sure, look, we, we were just not going to talk about it. Here's me stirring my mince away. Um, Just obviously want to make sure it goes a little bit brown. Then you put some salt and pepper. The other day I said pepper and salt on my TikTok. And I got a lot of abuse for saying it the other way. So I'm, I'm scared for life, basically. 
So um, yeah, just always make sure to season your beef. Then I put some very lazy chilies. You earn what you eat. So um, yeah, I just like to make it spicy. So I do wish I added more towards the end. It was a little bit bland and I do love spicy beef. Anyway, um, then here is me chopping up my pepper. I always put my peppers in at the end because literally soggy peppers give me the ick. Like it's the worst thing that's ever happened to the human race. Like I just hate, hate, hate soggy peppers. So I always put them in at the end just to make sure that they're a bit warm. Now I'm going to take an avocado and I'm going to chop it. My chopping skills overall in this video are really, really bad. Usually I feel like I'm quite good. At, like I feel like I'm a good chopper. <laughs> no. oh god definitely not in this video anyway but this is a trick to take out your avocado with a spoon if you aren't doing this in 2021 then you honestly need a recheck i put the soft taco shells in the air fryer um just to warm them up a little bit i don't think you have to and honestly it was um not the best idea because i burnt myself a few times and they were very 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 hot so then you want to slice your avocado and slice whatever else you're putting in. You can make like the little tomato -y thingy salsa thing, but I just bought my own. And then you're just going to assemble your tacos. So I'm opening a can of sweet corn. I absolutely love sweet corn. I eat it out the tin. And then you are going to put your sweet corn in with your beef mixture thing majig. And obviously you want to stir it all in at this uh, point the heat is on like low so it just is sizzling away now i'm taking some like fresh parsley thing that's like in these little bags i buy these and they're actually very very handy i tried to have fresh parsley once and it lasted about two seconds so we're never doing that again then you want to roll your lime. I've seen Gordon Ramsay do it, so I do it too. Apparently it releases the juices. I'm not sure if it does anything, to be honest, but it makes me feel a bit better about myself as a human being. So that's kind of why I do it. Then you are going to assemble the tacos. And oh my God, please watch me do this. And please try not to cringe because like I did it for the video and then i had to redo it and because it looked so bad like i would put it in with the beef at the top they actually turned out absolutely stunning so i mean i did something right didn't i anyway while you are finished stuffing your avocado into the shells and it's all falling out at the stage i just cover the whole thing in salsa again i do wish it was all a bit spicier and then you want to take your sour cream and just like look at me thinking it was going to come out like ketchup and i just absolutely didn't <laughs> Oh, just little blobs of sour cream. Honestly, really embarrassing. Then you're going to take your wedge of lime and you're going to put that all over the top. Anyway, that's it. Bye. <laughs>I don't know that's just not my vibe i've never made tacos before and a fun fact i actually don't like mexican food i don't like taco seasoning so i just thought i'd season it myself but let's try it mm, that is so good the sour cream definitely makes the tacos obviously i couldn't find jalapenos so if you could put jalapenos in these if you like spice that would be delicious but i bought fancy almond milk it cost me like four quid no joke but it's so good it's like vanilla so my coffee honestly is the best thing ever it's like it tastes exactly like the starbucks vanilla latte i get every morning so 2021 i'm trying not to get coffee out because i think i buy like two starbucks a day which is a tenner a day five times a week so that's like 50 quid on coffee a week and that's not okay especially when i have a like fully functioning coffee machine anyway let's make some breakfast because i might actually start to death and i'm not being dramatic
these are all of our ingredients for the curry so i have some chicken some parsley garlic chilies i have some more chilies carrots the sugar snack or more to whatever it's called pepper some rice this is the sauce that i love for thai green curry it has really good macros it is a bit like on the pricey side but it is absolutely delicious so i'll probably have half that if not more and yeah i'm just gonna put this in the microwave and everything else will go into the pan so it'll be a quick dinner right so as always i'm using the one cal spray to spray the pan then you're going to take your pepper of choice i love the red ones they're the best if you don't think red peppers are the nicest ones then um get out anyway you're going to cut all your veg into like stir fry stripe stripes stripe stri i don't know anyway you're going to take your chili do the same so obviously with a stir fry or a curry or anything the more veg the better and that is kind of how i stay um relatively don't want to say lean but lean for me because at the moment i am a little bit leaner than usual i just love like high volume food so i always 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 add a lot of veg now I'm cutting up my chicken. Yes, I'm cutting it up on the same cutting board as the veg, but it's all going to one pan, so it's fine. Then you're going to cook your chicken in with the garlic, and there's some chilies as well that you can add. And I take some soy sauce. I get the uh, less lower sodium or whatever. It is just a little bit better for you, I suppose. And then I just chop the chicken still in the pan because I clearly didn't do it well enough. You just want to make sure it all obviously cooks evenly. I do prefer my veg to be a little bit crispy. Look at me now with my chef skills. I am Gordon Ramsay. Anyway, you're going to take your sauce then and you're going to add it to your curry. Sometimes it's a little bit too thick so I add some water to it. And then you want to let the water evaporate and then you kind of left it with like creamy saucy curry rather than like water or like really thick because oh i hate it has to be like in between you know so here's me letting the water evaporate and then i'm plating up so i thought i was gonna have half the packet i actually did end up having the whole thing because i was just a little bit hungry and i didn't eat that much that day so going to add all your curry this looks like a lot of food and it's actually low calorie so um yeah, this is what my curry looks like. I'm super, super, super excited to eat this. You can add cashews to it as well and it would be amazing. Right, so I hope you can hear me. The dishwasher is on, the washing machine is on. So it could be a bit loud, but I'm just going to talk a little bit louder. I will say I was a little bit dissatisfied. Not dissatisfied after my dinner. I just sometimes need something sweet. And sometimes it passes and sometimes I let it pass and I like do my chores and I did it. Hasn't passed. So I'm going to have some ice cream. Ben and Jerry's the low calorie one. I actually had the cookie dough one before. This is the caramel cookie. So I haven't tried this one yet. But it is two, 124 calories per two scoops. And I'm not like a huge dessert lover so i genuinely would probably have a scoop but that is pretty much it for the evening i'm planning on relaxing on the couch the washing is on so i need to wait for that to finish up and then i'm back to work in the morning so yeah that might vlog again who knows might have a day off but i might vlog then my week of working from home so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the food the recipes, the weird vlog that you just watched. That is genuinely my life, just food and cleaning my apartment. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media so I can annoy you a little bit more. Me, Ben and Jerry are going to watch Grey's Anatomy. My dad jokes are honestly getting way out of hand, so I just need to leave you alone now. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, so bye.